Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got a Simple Colors Neon Water Marble. I've started off with Danny Digit's Glitter Be Gone. And I've still got my patch on my one nail. I'll be using Brave Diva Shutout today as my white base. I'm just going to do one nice, beautiful coat of this. I'm going to go over it until it's, you know, just perfect. And that is my poor little boo-boo nail. It's like super 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 short technically it's it's like a bona fide nubbin I mean it is nothing no free edge at all so I'm gonna wear this little gel patch until it you know this poly gel patch until it grows back out a little bit <laughs> so it does look a little fatter than my normal nail but you know it'll do so there we go I'm going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Get everything to dry down so that we can do this water marble. I had promised in some of my other videos that I would give it a try. And I'm only going to use three of the colors today. Hi Woody, how you doing? <laughs> So there we go. I'm gonna, I've got my hand holding up because my air conditioner is running and trying to blow the polishes. Um, these polishes do water marble, but you have to work very quickly with them and you have to, um, you have to tap the cup some a little bit more than usual. They do work though. I'm going to start my drawing from like the yellow line because these polishes are draw drying very fast in the water. I wanted to do a water marble with all of the colors from this collection, but it was just, I, I couldn't, I couldn't get them in the water fast enough and get them to spread, get a design draw, drew in. So I don't want to discourage anybody from trying it. I just want to let you know that these are not really easy to do. So, you know, I'm going to take this toothpick and run it around the outside and break the, break that seal. And then with my tweezers, I'm going to go ahead and remove that latex real quick. So there we go. I am using the IMK Peel Ease today. I don't know if I mentioned that. I might not have. Sometimes I get carried away. But I am just dropping like two drops of each color in and just tap 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 in the side of the cup and still holding my hand up to block the air you definitely don't want a water marble in a room with an overhead fan going or any any kind of air movement like that because it will make your polish dry out really fast so that is why I stuck also to this simple flower petal design today I figured this one would be really easy for me to get through trying to figure out where I'm dipping and there we go dip dip and I am speeding this up they're getting faster and faster each finger that I dip I wanted to show all of them because they all turn out different they're all flower petals but they all look different in the end I loved how this one turned out though the uh, polishes they've got that shimmer in them and I was really excited that they did as well as they did. I do wipe my toothpick off on my little paper towel there in between a pass or two. That keeps it from getting globby on there. I'm going to turn the cup again, find my favorite spot, and dip in. Some of these nails turned out a little bit brighter than others and I don't really know why that is. I just, but like I said, I still liked it. I, I really liked, but I love water marbling and I love neons. So I was really pleased with this one in the end. So here we go. We're going to dip, dip, dip again. Just bumping on through it. Alrighty, going to turn that cup, find my spot, and dip in. I do hold that cup between my finger and my thumb so that I don't knock it over. 
I'm gonna go in with a Q-tip with some acetone on it and do the big cleanup. You know, where I went past the latex, because I always do. It doesn't matter how far I run that latex up my finger. I manage to always get, you know, some past it. And now I'm gonna go in with my detail brush and my acetone and do some detail cleaning up. There it is. Getting up under there too, because it always goes up under there. I'm gonna top it with the China Glaze Fairy Dust. You know, when you got neon, you need you need hollow, right? I think so. And I've got a little piece of something in the polish. I kept brushing it until I got it off. <laughs> I don't know what it was. So there we go, gonna get some hollow, some scattered hollow. Hi Woody, how you doing? He's back again. trying to get as much of this up as I can. There it is. Now I'm going to finally top it off with the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. Seal it all in, dry it down fast, and call this one to did. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this one. As always, I love hearing from you and chatting, polish, and other stuff. So just leave me a comment, and a thumbs up would be good too if you do that sort of thing. So here's my swatch photo. And that is it. I wanna thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.